Recently, G-Shock answered to the hype of the Casio modding communities with the launch of the GMB 2100, a full metal version that costs $600? And today I'm going to show you a budget alternative to that all metal G-Shock that complements the refined sober dial and takes it to another level. So I'm proposing you the transformation of the GM2100 into a premium Casio. Today's combo consists in the standard GM2100 watch plus the premium SKX mod conversion kit which comes with an extra strap and all the installation accessories needed. So we will land on a $290 budget but we will create a far more superior combo that looks more like a $4000 watch. So the GM series as we know it has indeed a beautiful well refined dial but unfortunately it's not that inclusive. The GM2100 fails the test of accessibility because it does not offer enough contrast with the indexes, the digital display or the hands. And in my view this less contrasted but sober design looks premium and deserves a case combo that amplifies the design language of it. The SKX mod packaging is different, in general the Casios come assembled and delivered into a similar G-Shock hexagonal box, but this one is offered into a do-it-yourself kit, and I personally love the idea of putting effort in building and customizing a watch. And when we open the box inside we have the case shell, the bracelet, two straps in this case and all the needed accessories to operate the modding. And I kinda like the culture of providing all the necessary tools, screwdrivers, bolts and pins. But a manual would have been welcome though. And if interested check them out at SKX Mod, they make conversion kits and accessories from Apple Watches to the GA, GM and the EA series, so I will leave the link to their website in the description. Now the value of the SKX Mod in-house kit, besides the quality provided, is the re-engineering of the end links which can fit besides the bracelet a rubber strap as well. So the personalization options are endless and I think that is why I was attached by this initiative. To install a Casio kit is relatively easy, I mean after you own the ZRC Grand phones everything feels like a walk in the park. And it is true, on the refined GM series, once you unscrew the side bolts with an allen bit, you will spot inside some orange rubber gaskets, so you will have to remove them with a screwdriver, like this, before pulling the carbon core from the metal outer case. And at this point we have the carbon core ready to be installed on the Casio kit. But pay attention, when you insert the core into the Casio shell, press it even against the trimmed areas so the pushers can slide easily without putting pressure on them. So once you've inserted correctly, you can mount the polished bolts provided by the kit without the need to put the rubber gaskets back. At least I didn't. So here we can spot the matching finishing of the bolts with the ones from the bezel, finished in a mirror polish to create a distinct contrast with the brushed lugs. And as a priority, it is way easier to install the core of the case back shell first, leaving the bracelet installation or the rubber for the second step. So I will install the bracelet first and then the FKM rubber. And the result is... And the result is simply wow. The grey silver dial of the GM series alongside the vertical brushing of the case simply gives a premium feeling to it. The flashy minute markers and the vertical brushed rhythm communicates with the brush of the bezel and the case. And as well when angled the watch simply shines because of the polished accents combined with the brushed ones. And as personal preference despite the quality of the bracelet, my preferred choice is definitely the black FKM rubber because it isolates the brushed case creating a repetitive rhythm with a brushed dial, a black bezel and then a brushed case and a black rubber. Not to mention the comfort and the reduced weight offered by the strap. As preference on the wrist, the Casio kit is not chunky but not small either. The case measures 44mm with around 12mm in height but the design of it hugs comfortably the wrist and it works very well on my 7 inch wrist 17cm in circumference. And speaking about quality, I have as well a standard Casio kit to compare it with this new generation of Casios developed in-house by SKX Mod. And even though the appearance is similar, the quality difference is massive. Starting from the horizontal brushing of the side combined with the mirror polishing of the chamfers, as well as the brushing on the top of the bezel versus the polished side that simply complements the dial execution of the GM series through rhythm, color and geometry. 
and that the quality of the bracelet complements the finishing of the case. There are no errors or faults, everything is very well finished and certain. Another tailored engineering made by SKX Mod. They redesigned the twin endlings of the lugs to fit both a rubber and a bracelet. However, unlike the standard kits, the SKX Mod has a chamfer that allows the bracelet to be more flexible. And as a result from the ends of the lugs, the bracelet can slide to almost a 90 degrees point and hug narrower or smaller wrists. Where on the standard kit, we can spot the way the bracelet leaves the case at a 45 degrees angle. Also a thing to notice, the SKX Mod offers a premium strap option as well made from an FKM rubber, which is available only on the black color. And it is true, I always considered the Casio kit for the GH series as a cripple or a wannabe tryout to emulate the experience of an AP Royal Oak. And that happened because of the less refined dial versus the preciousness of the case. But what is funny, I recently played around with some genuine Royal Oaks and I was literally amazed by the similar wearing experience of a budget Casio Oak. Especially when we have new and new generations of Casio Oaks that makes the wearing experience closer and closer to the exclusive Royal Oak. So I started to reconsider the idea of playing around with these kits in the future. More to come, promises. And from my side, I did enjoy the premium transformation of this GM2100. The standard one looks very good, but this one is much better in my view. And personally, I do not see it as a homage to the Royal Oak, but just a hexagonal case well executed that amplifies and improves the design language of the GA GM series. Yup, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new here, please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much, thanks for watching and until next time, be brave but stay safe.